If you want to build galaxy tail lights with 5 mil LEDs, you need to watch this video. So many of you guys have seen my video that I did a couple years ago with 5 mil LEDs showing you how to do an RGB 5 mil LED build using alumostatic boards. Something that was not mentioned in that video at that time was the LEDs themselves. Yes, we do sell 5 mil LEDs RGB style as well as many other companies. But there's one major factor with the ones that we sell here at Next Level Neo versus what you'll get at any of the other sources. And that is that ours have capacitors built into the LED. Now, basic idea here, a capacitor stores energy. It stores power. And when you're talking about addressable LEDs, they almost always have capacitors on the board next to the LED. Little chips that you'll see on strips and uh, circuit boards and things like that that have addressable on them. And the purpose of that is to help with flickering. The capacitors act as a little bit of a battery to store some power next to the LED. Without these capacitors, you will run into issues like flickering, LEDs randomly turning on, and other things like that. If you purchase your addressable LEDs from anyone other than Next Level Neo, we cannot help you to work through the issues that you're gonna face. You will have to reach out to the people that you bought the LEDs from. I wish I could help everybody. I wish I could give you guys the solution to make those LEDs work, but quite simply, I don't use them. I never have. Stop Motion himself is using Next Level Neo LEDs. I don't know how to make the other stuff work, and quite frankly, I just don't have time to learn how to make another company's product work to show you guys how to make it work. So instead, we spent extra money and time to develop these with the capacitors in place. That is the reason why these cost as much as they do. I know that's a big turnoff for a lot of people. They usually price shop and compare and they'll find them cheaper in another place. And it's the lack of those capacitors inside, which is the reason our price point is set where it is. To be completely honest with you, the profit margins on the five mil lineup are lower than anything else on our website. We don't make a ton of money, but our commitment has always been to bring you guys the best quality that we can. And that's where the five mil come in. I didn't want to charge where we really should be at on them because it's just expensive and I think it puts it out of the reach of a lot of people. Now on the LEDs themselves, we do have several different versions of the addressable. We have the RGBs. Now these are the exact same things that I used in the video with the Forrester taillights. And we have them in a 100 count pack as well as the 500 count pack. Most taillights are gonna need a 500 count. You're gonna have to count your panel first to figure out how many you need. But if you need 600, you can get a 500 and a 100 or you know whatever you need. Hopefully we got you covered. In an effort to expand with the five mil, we were able to create an RGBW variant. Now this is compatible with SK6812 RGBW as well as our UCS2904, assuming the LEDs are a GRBW color order, which all RGBW LEDs on nextlevelneo.com are GRBW color order. We have them available in 100 count packs. We didn't bother with a 500 count because the cost of production of the RGBW is higher and therefore we have to charge more for those LEDs. By and large, if you're doing a set of tails or you're doing something that doesn't need a true dedicated white, I would stick with the RGB. Save yourself a couple bucks. They're cheaper and we have a great lineup of RGB products like our UCS 2903 that will work well with the RGB LEDs. Now these are the same RGB 5 mil we have for tail lights, but they're encased in a custom ABS package with three inches of wire in between each one. This makes it a little bit easier depending on what kind of application you're working with. And you can see some of the videos where I've used it in the past, we can get an example of where it might make sense to use those. Now, if that's not quite what you're looking for, we also have our panels. Now, this panel here has 100 PCBs on it. They're easy breakaway PCBs. You break off one, you can put your five mil LED in there. This will work with RGBW or RGB either way. And this will allow you to turn those five mil LEDs into pods very similar to what these are, but cheaper being that it's more of a DIY product versus this being manufactured. In addition to our addressable lineup and supporting products, we also have single color LEDs that are some of the brightest ones on the market, as well as dual color LEDs. 
where you'll have two colors within the same LED for things like a Ghost V5 or a Corso Motion build where you don't have a lot of room for LEDs, but you wanna do a sequential or you wanna do something like that. We have white and red, white and amber, and red and amber LEDs. In our single color lineup, we have white, red, and amber LEDs. We also sell the Ghost V5, and we sell five volt inverters for the applications where you need them. We sell Ghost controllers, power savers, pretty much everything that you need to do a set of five mil RGB tails. We even just started carrying wire on the website. So quick recap, if you are planning on building Galaxy Tails with RGB or RGBW addressable 5mm LEDs, keep in mind that most manufacturers that are selling these do not have capacitors built in and you will have issues if you do not add capacitors. And we will not be able to provide you support for LEDs like that. You will need to reach out to the manufacturer of those LEDs. I do still plan on trying to do an updated video using a ghost controller as well as a full build on RGB 5 mil. I'm just waiting on the right build to be able to do that. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that video when it does finally come. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out nextlevelneo.com for all your LED lighting needs. Thanks.